Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I've got a little friend here today. This is Daisy May. She insisted on being up here while I was filming and now she probably wants to go. Anyway, welcome, welcome back if you've been here before. Um, I am Lauren and today I'm going to do an Amazon haul which is going to consist of mainly clothes um, but a few other bits that I got from Amazon too. Honestly, Amazon has been like the biggest hack of my life these days. I found so many good things. Um, got the best jeans ever so yeah I thought I'd show you all the bits I've got. First of all as always you can follow me here on Instagram where I've already posted lots of pictures of all this stuff so I'd love for you to go and check it out. I'm a lot more aesthetics over there so yeah let me know what you think. You're gonna have to go down because you can't see my clothes. So the first thing that I wanted to show you that I got is this dressing gown because I love it mainly because it has a hood but it's just also the perfect toweling, cosy material, but it's not too long, it's like mid-length. Um, I feel like it's a nice oversized fit, but not drowning because of the length. So this is definitely a must-have. I think it was about 30 pounds, and I got it in a size medium. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to show you was these jeans. They are the best jeans ever so i'm gonna move the camera down and show you these are the levi's 501s they are the perfect rise they come up a bit higher at the back which looks even better on the bum they are the perfect cut and yeah i just love them they're a 501 but i do find that levi's has zero consistency i've ordered 501s before and not been impressed with them at all um but these are just absolutely perfect i think they're called boyfriend cut potentially but they're absolutely not a boyfriend cut because they're quite tight at the top and then they just go straight down which I think is the perfect cut for some Levi's jeans. I ordered them in white again instantly and I'm actually thinking of ordering this colour again so I can make the perfect shorts for summer. But yeah I'm 5 foot 8 and I got a 28 leg and a 28 waist so if that helps you as a size guide. The next thing that I wanted to show you was this linen shirt. I got this from the Men's Amazon Essentials um, and I got it in a size medium. I love a men's linen shirt. I just think it is such a classic and it looks so nice with just a classic pair of Levi's, little white cami, just thrown on so totally less is more vibe um and i just love this look this is something that i've been wearing on repeat to be honest and yeah i also got the shirt in a yellow color which i'll show you in a second but they do lots of nice colors um and they're just the perfect summer like cardigan um i obviously am aware it's not a cardigan but you know what i mean like put it over a dress or anything just looks so cute and also obviously buttoned up tucked in bagged over your jeans is also a really cute look next thing i got to that i wanted to show you is my new balance um these come in quite a few colors and um, they go out of stock quite quickly so hopefully you'll be lucky when you click the link below um but these are the New Balance 608. I got these, I thought they were a bit less common than the 50, 530s that everybody has. Um, I've already got grass stains on them. <laughs> I've been wearing them so much, but I think they're super cute. They look really nice with this outfit. Um, just a super casual look. And yeah, I think these are a bit more affordable than the other New Balance that everybody seems to wear. I think these are about 60 and the others are normally about 80 or some of them are even about 200 pounds. These are definitely a good buy. Then I just wanted to show you the shirt in yellow. As I just said, I got it in a pastel yellow colour too, which I just think is honestly adorable. This would look so cute over like a white dress. I've got these jeans in white too, which I'll probably show you with the yellow shirt because it looks really nice. Um, but yeah, like linen looks so expensive. And this is like a men's basics shirt and it was honestly i think no more than 30 pounds maybe like 10 <laughs> i can't remember exactly but i got this in a medium too and i love it as you can tell i've been doing a lot of men's shopping the next thing that i got was a fruit of the loom top in large amazon is so good for fruit of the loom bits if you don't know what that is it's kind of like stock like people buy these and print their own labels on but they just make the best basics ever so this is like a long sleeved polo top um so first of all things like this 
obviously I love to just do that and look like really kind of preppy, sporty, relaxed, haven't tried hard look, um, just jeans, simple colours, very chic and stylish but just, you know, looks like you have put very minimal effort in. And this, by the way, is Topshop and about £3, so yeah. It's just about kind of sticking to the classic colours, sticking to the classic pieces and just wearing them together well with some nice jewellery. Which, by the way, this is from the Monica Vinod and You collection, which I love and will link below. But a really kind of expensive chain will just elevate that outfit. And I've got the bracelet too, which has got a little pearl on it. I've also got this top in the white. Um, they're kind of similar. So the first way that I wanted to show you wearing it is if you just have it kind of tucked up um, like that, tuck it into your bra or something, it makes a cute top or obviously you could just have it tucked in and I think that looks really nice as well. Just push the sleeves up. As always, I always say this about <laughs> anything that's kind of oversized or men's, I also think it would look so cute like on summer nights with bare legs just thrown over a bikini and just some brown legs hanging out the bottom. So nice. Um, obviously would kind of, I'm quite tall but if you're short I think this would make a really nice dress too. So from Fruit of the Loom I also got this little blue t-shirt um, in a men's large. I just really really liked the colour. I actually liked it so much that I bought a sweatshirt straight afterwards in the same colour which I'll show you in a minute. Love an all blue tonal look and this is just a perfect way to do it. I love this t-shirt, I love how oversized it is. If you wanted to make it a bit more girly, you could roll up the sleeves and again tuck it into your bra to get that kind of look where it just drapes there. Um, so yeah, I love this t-shirt. I love all this stuff, I'm not going to lie, this is one of my favourite hauls. Like, I am an Amazon convert for life, this is where I'm doing like all my clothes shopping from now on. I also think that this t-shirt looks super cute with that top that I just showed you slung over like so with the jeans and then I've got my new balance trainers on too which I think is a cute look. So speaking of like classic things that don't go out of style, um, Calvin Klein is another one of those brands and I have the classic like um, little vest top that's Calvin Klein that has a big writing on it um, that was kind of really hot a couple of years ago um, and kind of still is, it's a classic. But I saw this standing on Amazon and I really liked it. I thought it reminded me a bit more of my Dolce & Gabbana underwear, um, a bit more minimalist and the cut of this is just a bit different to the vest with the racer back. Um, I love how this is at the back actually the kind of really open. I just really liked it. There were some cycling shorts to match with this band on um, and they were £50 and I was like absolutely not. I'm actually thinking that I love this so much I might get the matching shorts um, but yeah I think it's a really cute look for like a hike or something and obviously it's a bra but I'm thinking if I was wearing this and the black um, with the band cycling shorts and then just this over the top which would probably reach as long as the shorts envision it um, you know it's not actually showing much and I think it'd be a really cute look I'm thinking like hiking up to the Hollywood sign I think I've said that before and like I've only been to the Hollywood sign once and I drove okay, the next thing I've just popped on is my Levi's in white so I will show you them. I just think they are gorgeous. They're obviously exactly the same as the others. I think these have a bit more stretch in them. Insert my comment about Levi's 501s having zero consistency. <laughs> All good, so I can batch them. These ones only. Um, and the links will be below, obviously. Um, I am actually gonna link my whole Amazon shop below because I've got other things in there that I don't have here that I'm lusting after. So you can see all that like home and everything. But um, yeah. Just love them, they're a classic fit on the bum, they've got the red logo, they are just the coolest ever and they are like the perfect white jean, I think white jeans sometimes they're not the most flattering when they're really skinny um, but also baggy so it's really hard to get a good pair of classic white jeans and obviously as I spoken about before, classic is key, Levi's is classic, Levi's is key. 
in I don't know why I'm saying that because I wear loads of different types of denim but <laughs> I just do think if you don't have a hundred pairs like me get Levi's so I did briefly mention that I got that t-shirt in the sweatshirt too because it's such a nice color again this is a men's large love the color add a nice chain elevate it and yeah i think this looks so nice with the white again it also looks really nice with the blue jeans um and i have already like flung this over a lot of cute summer dresses um i've worn this a lot <laughs> i love it i think it was probably about 11 pounds um i feel like i might have a look back on there and see if there's other colors the only thing is like i have washed it and um, it kind of looks fine, but I do think after a few washes, it might start to lose its colour. Because I do love to wear this quite a lot. You'll notice I'm wearing it in my last video, which was a vlog. Um, and on my Instagram, most of my stories, you'll see like this little blue neckline. <laughs> So yeah, love this. Okay, the next thing that I got was some Nike Airs. They honestly have the best collection of Nike Airs, but again, it's the same with New Balance. They come in, they go out, so you just gotta keep checking on my links and see if they're in. Um, but they have a really great range that are sometimes sold out in other stores. And um, yeah, I think these are actually men's, because I'm a size UK six actually i'm a size you that's something worth noting i'm a size uk6 but i wear a five and a half in like airs and i just thought these were really cool i wanted some ones that were different to my all white ones but i didn't want to venture out too much even though now i do want the ones that have got like the pastel pink tick as well maybe imagine if they had this blue tick like that oh dream i got those i think they're super cool as you can tell they're pretty box fresh haven't worn them yet maybe i'll wear them on my walk today but maybe they'll come back with grass stains on like my new balance so i think i'll keep these i have actually worn these but just like around the house just wanted to show you a few other bits that i got from amazon um i don't know if you know this but i've been doing my nails a lot um in lockdown um i bought my own gel kit so i thought i'd link that down below as well because i always get lots of questions about it um and also the full range of nails that i have um is linked in my amazon shop which you'll find in the link below too this is the light that i have i think it was about 15 pounds and it's really good then i just bought the cheapest top and base coat that i could find on amazon that was going to deliver the next day um, and i got a pastel set and then i got some orly sets which are a bit more expensive but better quality you can see that that's the orly one um just got a bit more of a shine to it um this is my favorite color this is number 130 in the box that i have linked a pack of five pastels um but yes this is definitely one of my best lockdown buys ever or best buys ever it's gonna save me so much money at the salon it keeps me entertained like researching and trying out new nail art and insert some pictures of my nail art here um i also did a video which i'll link in the description if i remember of me doing a tutorial of how i do some of these nail arts and yeah this has kept me entertained the whole of lockdown and the pictures that i've been posting of my nails have been really well well received so this has definitely been one of my best purchases from amazon ever the next thing that I got was an ice roller. I saw Emma Leger using one in her video the other day and it just reminded me that I've wanted one for ages. My sister used to use one all the time um, and I just feel like they're really good. You put the put it in the freezer i haven't actually used it yet this was about 11 pounds and she was just doing it in her video and i was like that looks so refreshing why have i not bought one of those yet um i have so many rollers and things um but they're not cold and i just was like i don't really suffer from a puffy face i think it'd be amazing if you do but i do suffer from like trying to get up at 5 a.m and being like Ugh. so i think it will really help with that just to get up make my cup of tea while the kettle's boiling roll my face in the kitchen put it back in the freezer and that's the vision i have of me just like waking up spryly okay the last thing that i have to show you is a bit random but i got this 100 percent linen 
bedding from Amazon and it's so nice. I've just washed it so it's a bit creased um, but I'm planning to take this home and put it on my new bed. Um, I'm so excited. I've never had 100% linen before and I just think it looks so nice. Obviously for my Instagram pictures, duh. Apparently it's just the most luxurious thing to sleep in too. I've always been like when I try on linen shirts like how is this going to be comfortable to sleep in but everyone raves about it so I'm going to give it a go. It feels really soft um, and also that reminds me that I've kind of been getting like a new bed um some new bits in my living room it's taking a while because i'm getting nicer things which kind of say six to eight weeks delivery which is really annoying seeing as i'm the kind of girl that's like amazon tomorrow done but as soon as it all comes together i'm definitely going to do a new updated home tour because my home has changed so much since my last one so yes i hope you will enjoy that coming soon but thanks for watching everything will be linked down below and i shall see you again soon